2001 graduate final field for $300,000 lined up. Here they come. And they're off. Goliath Bayama shows his speed from the inside, along with the strong scooter. Noble ability, a little early foot from the inside. The others just fan out as they round the first turn. And it's Campbell and strong scooter taking control. Goliath Bayama sweeps up on the outside and looks for the lead as the rip is down on that one's tail. Noble ability settles in the third spot. Gallup Blue Chip sweeps up fourth on the outside. Ain't no stopping him is fifth. Rapid Jade is racing sixth. Space Shuttle goes to the outside seventh. Riverboat King is eighth. Red Boat Tie is ninth on the outside. Then it's Memphis Flash. Hot quarter here, 26 and four. Two wide down the back stretch. And Sylvain Fillion cleared the lead with the Gallup on the inside. Goliath Bayama. But on the outside, here comes a Gallup Blue Chip and Dan Dubé to take control. Gallup Blue Chip showing his speed again this week. Goliath Bayama back in the second spot. Strong Scooter under a strong hold in third. Up on the outside comes Space Shuttle looking for cover. He'll have to rough it first over. Noble Ability getting shuffled back to fifth. Riverboat King gets into it now second over in sixth. And Red Boat Tie is up into it now third over. Shuffled back is Ain't No stopping him. And then Rapid Jade shuffled to the back of the pack. Memphis Flash getting underway into the outer flow. The half was 54 and 4. They're heading past three quarters. Gallo Blue Chip now, and he is taking on Space Shuttle. He's got a tough trip on the outside. Galway Bayama is in the pocket. Riverboat King is looming large now. Second over, tipping three wide, and Red Boat Tie appears to have pace. He's right behind him, tracking the cover, 122 and 1, but Gallo Blue Chip turns it on here. Gallo Blue Chip and Dan Dubé out with a whip, with a shot at him. It's Goliath Bayama on the outside. He angles clear, and getting a bit tired now, Gallo Blue Chip. Goliath Bayama is coming, and here comes River Riverboat King on the outside. Gallo Blue Chip needs the wire. Goliath Bayama on the outside. And Riverboat King, three horse photo. Photo finish, 149. What a finish in the graduate final. 149, which is a career best for the winner, Gallo Blue Chip. A four year old bay gelding by Magical Mike. Out of Camatross by Albatross, owned by Martin Scharf of Lawrence, New York. Trainer Mark Ford. Winning driver, Danielle Dubé. The third win this season in five starts for Gallo Blue Chip, the first Meadowlands pace winner to come back to win the graduate final. A multiple stakes winner from last year and of course the pacer of the year and overall 2000 horse of the year. Double millionaire takes a new mark tonight and battles back and holds them off in 149, a career best for Gallo Blue Chip, in the winner's circle, making the trophy presentation in just a few moments, Mr. Tom Charters. Once again, Tom Charters will be making the presentation, president and CEO. Down to the uh, winner's circle, Bob. Hayden will be speaking with the winning connections. In the graduate, Dan Dubé, Gallo Blue Chip, nobody knows him better than you. Your strategy coming into the race with Gallo Blue Chip, what was it before the race? My just relax uh, first eight, and, and after that one I see uh, can go to the top, and I race him on the front. You got to the front here in 54 and 4, coming after your space shuttle, what are you thinking at that point? 54 and 4, that's, that's good for him. I know uh, when he's all right, and he can go. He scoots around the last turn pretty good, too. Yeah. And what about coming in deep stretch here? We have uh, Sylvain Fillion coming after you. Does, uh, tell us about the, the late part of the race, the very near the wire here. Yeah, he's coming uh, fast. Uh, just uh, both horse is very good. And, uh, yeah, I'll give you everything he had? Oh, yeah. Okay, 49. 49, <laughs> I think that's good. This one of his best races? Yeah, I think so. He raced good all the time. This one is good, too. Okay, Dan Dubé, Mark Ford coming into the race here. Gallo Blue Chip last week. Some people said, what happened to Gallo? The wind and on the front end everything. What about your strategy? What do you want to happen before the race? I wanted to race better, but uh, he didn't race bad last week. I mean, the wind's blow He got caught on the front, uh, and, uh, you know, the wind was blowing so hard. I, I don't know whether that made any difference or not, but, uh, you know, he, he was uh, better tonight. I don't know, you know, maybe anybody can have an off night, but, uh, geez, uh, 
they don't come along much better than him, I guess. Coming into this race here now, uh, you were two for four on the year comeback. Four-year-old against all the horses, big concern there? <laughs> Very much so. I mean, uh, this isn't a bad bunch of horses. And, uh, you know, it, just because he was a good three-year-old, you know, it's a different bunch of horses this year. And, you know, and uh, I'm sure he'll get beat a few times. But, uh, you know, maybe he can stick around and win a few, too. Where's Gallo go from here? Uh, not for sure. Maybe an open here next week, maybe not. And then probably to Rosecroft to the Maryland Governor's Cup. He's in the Horton and the Breeders' Crown? I hope so. Okay, Mark Ford, you've gone past Riyadh here, number six all-time. Gallup Blue Chip hangs on to win the graduate final, 149, the second fastest graduate of all time.